Bhupesh Anand this side again. Today I will be starting with with the new energy I will be starting with reading number 38. Reading 38. So today will be the first lecture for reading 38. Working capital management. We are doing corporate finance and within corporate finance we have covered different different readings. The first reading which we covered was corporate governance. Second is Second, 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 capital budgeting, cost of capital, leverages. And now we are in the last reading, last reading of this subject of this, you know, that reading is named as reading number 38. And the name of this reading is working capital management. So my dear friends, we are, we are going to start with the last reading of corporate finance and this will change your life. Come on. Let's start with reading number, reading number 38, reading 38 and this reading tells me something about working capital management. That what is, what is working, what is working capital management? What is the meaning of working capital management? The most important reading. And highly testable reading. And there are seven. And there are seven learning outcome. Learning outcome A. Learning outcome B. Learning outcome C. Learning outcome D, E and F. And all these learning outcomes are revolving around what are the sources of short term and long term liquidity. How to calculate what are the sources from where we can have short term and long term liquidity. What are the benchmarks to measure the liquidity measures or to compare those liquidity measures with your peer companies, with the, comp with the competitors? What is how working capital is affected or what is the effectiveness of working capital from the point of view of operating cycle, cash conversion cycle, what is management of accounts receivable, how we manage accounts payable and all that you know related with working capital and the comparison of yield measures. So my dear friends, let me assure you that if you will attend these 7 or 8 lectures, small small lectures, I can assure you that I will be able to clear all your concepts whether you are from science side, whether you are an engineer, whether you are an MBA, whether you are a non-commerce guy, it hardly matters. Let's start. But the condition is, you have to open your curriculum. Firstly, you have to see that how many learning outcomes are there. I, I, because, because, you know, because, uh, because of copyright issue, I, in the beginning of the lectures, I cannot show you the curriculum, I will show it in the fourth or fifth lecture, but mind you, but mind you, please keep your curriculum in front of you and please open your register. That is the most important source because you are writing by your own handwriting, you know. So let's start with the thing. Let's start, let's start with working capital method. Now, before I start with working capital management, I want to give you an example of supposingly you are doing CFA level 1 curriculum and you are an aspirant of CFA level 1, you want to give for June or December and, and, and for doing this CFA examination or for preparing for CFA examination, there are, there are some funds are required, some funds are required by a CFA aspirant. It is very simple that funds are required for anything. For a for a for a chole bhutore wala, for a for a tea maker, for a tea stall, for for a vegetable vendor to Tata Steel, funds are required. <coughs> now the point is, <coughs> I'm sorry. As a CFA aspirant, why funds are required, or how much funds are required? What are the reasons of those funds? I repeat, because you have to pay examination fees and that is in dollars. And again, you have to, you have to purchase your study material or, or with a private source, you can download it, get it print out, some expenses will be required. Or you want to purchase squares and notes or, or I can say, you can, you have to pay for me for my video lectures. It, it, it all total is 
round about, I am saying 1 lakh Indian rupees. Now, this 1 lakh Indian rupee is because you have already registered for a CFA institute that cannot be refunded back. You have already purchased the study material that cannot be refunded back. And even you have purchased my video lectures that cannot be refunded back. This is a long term or a fixed investment. But along with that, you have to do some, some short term investment. Your funds will be required for short term requirement also. Because daily you need some breakfast, some protein, some carbohydrates, some tea and some registers and, and you know internet internet availability for the for running these lectures it means it means there is some revenue expenditure also it means there is some operating expenses also now there are three types of activities which we did in cash flow statement and financial reporting operating activities investing activities and financial activities operating activities investing activities financial activities when i say operating activities can you tell me what are the operating activities for apollo tires or what are the operating activities of Maruti Suzuki? Or what are your operating expenses as a CFA aspirant? So when I say Apollo tires, buying of rubber from Kerala, manufacturing of that rubber, paying of electricity expenses, paying of factory rent, paying the salary to the employees, and all that related with operating activities, these are operating activities of Apollo tires. So these expenses are to be met on day to day or daily or periodical basis. These are recurring in nature. You have to again and again you have to incur. It means funds are required by Apollo Tax for two reasons. One is for constructing land and building for purchasing plant and machinery and second is for running that plant and machinery, some electricity is required, some raw material is required, some employees are required, power is required, and other overheads are required. So this something to run that is named as working capital. As the name indicates, working capital. That capital which is required for working, that capital which is required for working, that is short term requirements. That is named as working capital. Now, from where, you know, from where working capital can be, you know, can be financed, whether it can be financed from short term source or whether it is to be financed from long term source, it is a big question to you. Now, for that, you have to manage. So, that topic is named as working capital management, my dear friends. We are going to start with a new reading 38 and the name of that reading is working capital management that how you can manage working capital. From what are the sources, from how you can broke your working capital, what are current assets, what are current liabilities, what is the meaning of accounts payable, what is the meaning of accounts receivable, what is cash, what is inventory, what is cash conversion cycle, what is working capital cycle, what is operating cycle, how to manage it, what are the yield measures. What are the, what are, what is bond yield? All something we will be doing in these six or seven lectures. So I will be taking a separate lecture for each learning outcome. So today, today, no point. I am not going to start even learning outcome number eight. I am, I want to give a brief idea. I want to give you a brief introduction that what is the working capital? When I say working capital, I can give you so many examples so that you can get an idea that what is working capital. For example, you want to purchase a nano, luck takia. In India, we say that nano has a luck takia because it, it costs 1 lakh rupees, luck takia. Now to buy that luck takia, that nano car, Tata car, Tata motors, by manufacturer by Tata motors, nano, you require 1 lakh rupees, Indian rupees. Now to run that car, you require expenses, you require some funds for filling petrol, you require something for that running. That petrol expenses for running that nano is named as working capital. So I repeat, funds are required due to two reasons, my dear friends. Please open your registers. I am I'm, I'm, I'm actually giving you the brief idea of working capital management. Please sit straight and please start reading, you know, please start writing something which I am just, just but again and again, I'm repeating for you so that those concepts can go in your mind and I'm giving you brief or natural examples. I'll give the example of Apollo tires. I'll give the example of C aspirant. Now I want to give you an example of non nano I've just given. So funds are required for two reasons, my dear friends. One is long term. One is capital expenditure. 
and second is capital expenditure means capital budgeting decisions we did in the capital budgeting also that those decisions which are long term in nature starting a new factory starting a new venture going for expansion going for replacement that all is capital budgeting because these decisions take longer period these decisions are to some extent irreversible they are non recurring in nature but if i see from the other aspect funds are required for two reasons one is long term and second is short term when i say short term i mean working capital when i say working capital i mean those funds which are the life blood of any organization without that life blood a healthy body even cannot work because that is a blood which flows regularly in the veins of a human body that blood life blood which is flowing within the organization again and again again and again that is named as working capital so my dear friends i want to start with this chapter working capital and i want that you should write down something you know i i have already prepared hand written slides so that time can be saved so let's come on let's start with the writing part i just want to show you so many you know slides i have prepared for that if you just write down you know i will feel happy please please write down reading 38 this is lecture number 1 great morning working apple management there are seven learning outcomes which we will be going to cover learning outcome a to f we have to cover several learning outcomes and i have just told you that we will be covering short term and long term sources of liquidity and then then the liquidity measures to be compared with your peer companies then net of cash operating cycle and net operating cycle effectiveness of working capital like this we will be covering so many learning outcomes we will be discussing seven or eight lectures and then two lectures for practical problems my dear friend due to some copyright issues i i am not able to you know upload all the videos in youtube and, and also in the, in the beginning in the first initial videos which i want to upload i am not showing you cfa study material i am not showing you anything that because that again is coming in copyright so for two or three lectures i will be showing you this matter now let's start and rather and other demo videos i am uploading in google drive and and the same link i will share with you so please write down i think you must have written this just write in first point an entity an organization an individual and sole proprietor a partnership firm a limited liability firm a limited company a private company a cooperative society a ngo a social club any entity require funds for two reasons long term and short term when i say long term it also means capital expenditure when i say short term it also means working capital within work short term i have written recurring expenses now point number 2 please my dear friends please i don't don't try to be over smart because if you will write down it will save your time and and there is no need to read the cfa curriculum in that case with so many pages in smaller fonts please please write this working capital is required for smooth functioning of operating activities and to meet revenue expenses and to meet revenue expenses operating expenses operating activities smooth functioning day to day operations that something is named as working capital now now i have just told you working capital when i say working capital i also mean current assets and current liabilities for example to run an entity to run a chole bhature wala shop or to run a small any tea stall i require some raw material i require some inventory i require milk i require sugar i require i require tea leaves i require you know water that something which i require in a tea stall i have just given the example that is current assets inventory so please write an example funds required or invested or blocked required i have used the first word the second word invested the third word blocked so now the same thing required invested or blocked in inventory current assets accounts receivable cash balance etc that is named as that is named as current asset so i will be showing you again two case studies first is kingfisher airline now i want to show you it is because of poor working capital management 
and i want to show you what is the importance of working capital with the help of this 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 video i want to show you one video and that video does not have audio because i have just uh, i have just closed that audio part because again it will come in copyright so just see to it and we will discuss that what are the things which are there they are mentioning kingfisher airlines i want to show you kingfisher airline video and just see and think from the aspect of working capital management that how vijay malya not able to pay the salaries even of the air hostesses not even to pay the salaries of captains or or rental expenses of airport authorities and it means it means it is not the long term expenses it is not the capital expenses it is not the capital budgeting it is not the car rather something which is required to run that whole system that is more important and big big organizations fail because of working capital management poor management so just see to it and then we will discuss what this video says vijay malya king fisher in trouble now no this is this video you can directly you can, you can see from the youtube also because of copyright issue i am not uh, increasing the volume KFA Kingfisher Airlines faces license cancellation. Why they are facing license? These all are air hostesses. They are having a candle walk because why they are having a candle walk? Because the Vijay Malya Kingfisher Airlines has not paid their salaries for so many months. Just see to it. They do not have any confidence left in the authorities, and which is why they do not want put on notice because meetings are not fruitful. The lender's decision to release 60 crores. All these captains, pilot, they are standing. All these, these are the Kingfisher airline air officers. Wage bill at Kingfisher is 20 crore rupees per month. 20 crore rupees per month is just the wage bill. So because of that poor working capital management, that wages to pay the wages that is nothing but working capital. The funds required for day-to-day -day expenses because recurring expenses because wages you have to pay every month. Even those funds are not there, and it is because of this the big company flown down, liquidate like anything. Half of the employees were paid in March. Employees owed at least one thirty crores. It means they are not being paid from last six months. Even you know cannot pay uh, that K uh, Kingfish Airline not able to pay the rental expenses of airport authorities. So the point is that this video, as for this video, I just want to show you that how is important working capital management. So in today's lecture, we'll be discussing with with what is the working capital, and for that. I want to explain you the real case study. So please write on one case study. I'm taking the example of an individual, Mr. Ramla. He has started his own business. He's an individual. He has started as a sole provider and he wants to start his own business. A small stall, a book stall, a tea stall, or any stall, and able to able to able to have one thousand dollars of capital, able to collect total funds from his friend from his own pocket, one thousand dollars. Now, out of that one thousand dollars, what he did, I just want to show you. The so firstly, write on this case study. Suppose Mr. X, I prepared Mr. X has started a new business. And able to generate, and able to generate, able to generate one thousand dollars as capital. Now, what he did out of one thousand, he bifurcated one thousand as capital into two parts. One is seven hundred dollars. Part one is seven hundred dollars, and part two is three hundred dollars. Now, that seven hundred dollars he utilized. Supposingly, I'm just taking the hypothetical example. That seven hundred dollars he utilizes for land. For purchasing land, for purchasing building, or for buying plant and machinery. So all these expenses which I have written for seven hundred dollars, he has invested in long term requirements. He has invested in capital requirements. That is that is that is a longer requirement. But he kept three hundred dollars for his day to day needs. Now can you tell me why he has kept three hundred dollars for his day to day needs? Now this three hundred dollars which he kept separate, that is named as working capital. Because he know that to run a stall, to run a business, he requires some funds, idle funds, idle investments to 
to run that smooth functioning. So that something which he kept idle to for day to day expenses is named as working capital. So please prepare a flow chart, $1,000 utilized in $700 in this and $300 in this. And then from $300, what he did, I have given different scenarios for that. The first scenario is for that $300 scenario, one is he has broken into two parts. He has purchased some inventory of $200 and he kept cash as idle balance as $100. Again, his current assets is $300. No doubt he has broken into inventory and cash. Inventory is also a current asset and cash is also a current asset. Is an example of current asset. So in this scenario also working capital is $300 even if it is broken into two parts. Working capital is total of current assets. Up to this scenario 1 and scenario 2. We will say working capital is total of current assets and then after that I will tell you working capital is total of current assets minus total of current liabilities but for that we, will, we have to see scenario 3 but firstly go in scenario 1, $300 can be broken into two parts, $200 and $100. $300 he has out of $300, $200 he has purchased inventory and for $100 he has purchased, he has kept cash as idle. So working capital is $300, that is total of all current assets and in scenario 2, supposedly inventory of 200 out of that inventory of $200, $100 of inventory he has processed, he has processed. He has processed and converted into finished product and sold to a debtor. I repeat, out of 200 inventory, he has converted $100 inventory and processed it and converted it into finished good and sold it on credit to a debtor named as accounts receivable. Accounts receivable. Now see, $300, how, how I have broken into three parts. One part is, first part is inventory $100. Second part is cash balance hundred dollars and third part is accounts receivable hundred dollars. All are current assets and still his working capital is three hundred dollars. You are getting my point? So this, you know, working capital will be broken into different different parts into different current assets which are required for day to day running. Now see the scenario number three. In scenario number three, I have assumed that. Supposingly that Mr. X, Mr. Ramlal who has started a new business, he has, he has uh, contacted a person, a supplier of raw material, supplier of inventory and that supplier has agreed to supply the goods on credit. I repeat, Mr. X, Mr. Ramlal who has started a business, contacted with the supplier and that supplier has agreed to give the, business, give the goods or inventory on credit to this supplier, to this individual. So now his inventory from $100 has increased to $200. I am assuming that $100 of inventory he has purchased on credit from that supplier. Mr. X has purchased on credit from that supplier. So the point is total, total, total current assets will be, now see to it. In scenario 3, $400. I have kept as $400 but, but the point is how I have taken $400. Suppliers have given the credit off. I, I think it is better if I write down 300 only, 300 only. I will tell you why I am writing down 300. Because net working capital in this case again will be $300. How I have calculated 300 I will tell you. Now, now 100, $100 of inventory which he has purchased on credit. That will increase inventory but along with that it will also increase accounts payable. It means this Mr. X has to pay something to that supplier. Accounts payable. So how much is current assets now? Inventory $200, cash balance $100, accounts receivable $100, that comes to $200 plus $100 plus $100, that is $400 minus subtract less accounts payable of $100. It means the net, the net working capital, I will say the working capital is still here, $300, not of $400. So what we got for this case study? That what is what is working capital? Working capital is not current assets. Working capital is current assets minus current liabilities. And working capital can be current assets can be procured, can be purchased either from own funds or 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 on credit with the help of accounts table. So we will see what are the short term sources of liquidity, what are the long term sources of liquidity and how we can calculate working capital. So scenario 3. 
please write down my dear friends please say please write down i have broken this this 300 working capital again into four parts inventory 200 dollars cash 100 dollars accounts receivable 100 dollars minus 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 this is minus this is minus accounts payable of 100 dollars and again working capital comes to 300 dollars so please write down this note number 1 very very important note and a highly testable note from the above scenarios it can be concluded that working capital can be financed by or purchased either by own funds so i am telling you sources of funds either through own funds either through own funds rather 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 some of the current assets can also be funded by accounts payable some of the current assets are also some of the current assets can also be funded by accounts payable and these are named as current liabilities so current assets current liabilities current assets current liabilities so so accounts payable is a part of current liability in current liability there can be so many examples for example outstanding expenses is a current liability outstanding overheads is a current liability accrued expenses is a current liability trade payables is a current liability accounts payable is a trend current liability so we will discuss in the later outcome that how what is the meaning of this now please write on this how i have calculated working capital of 300 dollars in the in the in the in the tabular method <coughs> firstly i have written all current assets inventory is current asset cash balance is current assets accounts receivable is current assets so 200 dollars plus 100 dollars plus 100 dollars minus accounts payable of 100 dollars again my working capital is 300 dollars so formula for working capital will be current assets minus current liabilities current assets minus current liabilities hope you have enjoyed this lecture you know so in this today's lecture i have just given you a brief idea that what is working capital i am not able to show that your curriculum because of copyright issues i will be showing you in fourth or fifth lecture and those demos i will be uploading in google drive and that link i will be sharing in this youtube only so my dear friends we have started reading 38th and lecture number 1 i have just given you an idea brief idea about working capital be happy be jolly